Providence for your current temperature, 33 for New Bedford. But thanks to that wind that's not only shaking the camera, it's making it feel colder too. So we do have these sustained winds and they're generally between 10 and 15 miles per hour this check in. And it is making our temperatures in the 30s in Providence and New Bedford feel like the 20s in both communities. So if you are headed out this hour, these would be the temperatures that you would need to dress for. Now our satellite and radar, we're in good shape. We have lots of sunshine. Excuse me, at oatmeal, you know, and sometimes, anyway, um, we do have a front off to our west, and that's going to mean an increase in clouds, as well as a chance of a shower, too, as we go towards the afternoon and evening, excuse me, as that front gets closer to us. So again, we have the sun that'll be in place through the morning. We're going to build in clouds, leading to a chance of showers, too, as that front slides through. That front will then turn around and then go back through the area as a warm front. And tomorrow morning by 6 o'clock, we're looking for any showers to be done. Just some clouds in place, but as the front pulls off to the north, we will see some clearing, increasing sunshine, and warmer temperatures, too, as we'll be under that front where that warm air is located. Now, as we look at the bay forecast, keep in mind, our winds are going to be moving in out of the west, <coughs> excuse me, with occasional gusts up to 25 knots. Visibility won't come down in any showers, but if we don't see showers, we're going to be okay. Visibility will remain unrestricted. Now, our extended forecast shows temperatures that will be warmer for tomorrow, but my, by midweek, we're looking at highs that are going to cool into the 40s. Now here's Mario and the chef.